how is it portraying a character that we haven't really seen on a TV show or a movie? Like, how is it stepping into that costume uh, and portraying such a character that maybe not a lot of people who aren't comic book fans are that familiar with? Um, I think there might be a lot of freedom in being able to play something that hasn't been on the screen yet this way. Um, but that doesn't mean there aren't big shoes to fill because there are a lot of people who okay. do already love this character. So I, uh, I, I, I do hope that I make you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Or well, from the trailer. I, oh, good. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've got a question. Yeah. How do you play a crime fighter who's soothing? Because that sounds like a just Soothing? Yeah, oh. I, I mean, at least compared with Hawk. Like, sure. Hawk is this wild dog, and then you got, you're, you're, the, you're the guy who's just like, Relax. Right. Uh, how, how, how do you reason that with also being a crime fighter where you have to be a little hard at front? Like, what is that character? Who is Doug really? Um, that's so interesting. I think, first, anything next to Hawk is going to be calming. <laughs> um, um, I think that um, to be soothing and calm and nurturing and strong, I think the two are not mutually exclusive. I think you can be warm and uh, nurturing and also very strong and still win, be able to win someone's ass if need be. I, I, I don't think you have to be one or the other. And so it's really fun to be able to show that. So thank you for saying that because that is the goal. <laughs> Did you do a lot of reading of the I actual did. comic books? I absolutely did. Did you get the books yourself, or did you have someone? So did you venture into they a comic book a store? Of they sent you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got to avoid the fanboy experience of the comic book store. Not by design. <laughs> Not by design. I, I have no problem with fanboys. Um, they're a lot of fun. Um, I, I, yeah, I got sent a stack of books and I read a whole bunch and I fell in love with her and their relationship immediately. Is there a moment in the, in the first episode uh, for your character that you can't wait for the fans to see that that is a very special and moment? Yeah. And where where is it? What is it in the first episode? It's actually in episode ten. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Episode ten we heard too. yes. What is, what is episode ten? <laughs> episode ten is an episode that was written by Jeff Johns and Akiva Goldsman that Akiva directed. That is the origin story of Hawk and Dove, Hank and Dawn. And there's there, there's no superhero in that at all. It's all backstory. And it's, it's how they became Hawk and Dove and how they when they met for the very first time and why they became what they became. And you see the resistance, which is true to the books. Um, Hawk's resistance to the new Dove at first um, because it's supposed to be his brother. And uh, you see all of that. Yeah, because Akiva did such a wonderful job, and that was really fun. It felt like we were making a movie. Um, and you see, like, my history, you get to see where I, you know, I was, uh, you know, because we're not superheroes, we're vigilantes, and so the reason I am able to do, I was in, in ballet, I was a ballerina, I was a jiu-jitsu fighter, and um, gymnast. And so you really get to see um, my life. Awesome. I was very involved. Oh yeah. I insist on doing everything. Oh yeah. Yes. And that, but I have an incredible stunt double. Um, but I, 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 insist. I enjoy it very much. Yeah. Yeah. I did uh, train in ballet for three weeks um, for that one episode in particular for the entire month actually. And uh, I had an incredible teacher.
As the first live adaptation of this character, how were you able to put your own personal spin on it? The paint. She sees the paint. Sorry? Uh, how were you able to put your own spin on the first live adaptation of your character? Because it is probably a lot of pressure to be the first person to play it in real life. So how did you, yeah, how are you able to do that? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, 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 it, I don't uh, see it so much as um, bringing a superhero to life just because she's a real person and uh, really just understanding the codependent relationship between Hawk and Dove is something that I deeply relate to and understand I've been there before and uh, uh, so just the humanity in, in her I, I, I identify with and I think everybody will just I think we've all been through our share of toxic relationships <laughs> and we've all grown in that way so uh, that's just how it's just uh, um, having empathy for her and within these relationships sorry guys I've had to move on Okay, if you could get that one piece of advice, okay. what would it be? Um, <laughs> uh, if I could give her one piece of advice, um, don't give up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.